Hey guys, thank you for hitting that play button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I got some exciting news for you tonight. We got some breaking news on the Corvette E-Ray. So all this information that I'm gonna have in this video, you can go to Corvette Blogger and you can see it there as well. All right, so here we go. Let's get to the video. Here we go guys, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news on CorvetteBlogger.com. And as you can see here, it says breaking news, 2024 Corvette E-Ray leaks on the visualizer, includes new exterior and interior colors. And you scroll down, look at this. Wow. And as you can see, it looks like, unlike the, C8 Z06. It looks like all of the carbon flash metallic accents are gonna be body color, kind of like the C7 Grand Sport was. But look at this right here, as you can see here. This here is body color. Looks like. Uh, here the back vent is body color as well And it looks like the rear spoiler might be body color scroll up a little bit And as you can see here, it says it's Corvette's new Corvette E-Ray coming sooner rather than later the big news dropping late Friday afternoon is the 2024 Corvette E-Ray has been captured on the visualizer, which not only gives us our first look at how it will look, the leak also details the new exterior and interior colors for 2024. So look at this right here. The E-Ray model will have a ZER performance package. They don't know exactly what that's gonna entail yet, but it's probably gonna be something similar to the ZTK package on the ZR1, the C7 ZR1, or the Z07 package for the Z06. And look at this right here. It looks like it has some uh, new colors. Let's start here. We got the hypersonic gray. We got the red mist metallic uh, tint coat. We got the Silver flare metallic, we got the Arctic white, we got the rapid blue, we got riptide blue metallic, that is new. We got sea wolf gray tri coat, that is new. We got amplified orange tint, we got torch red, we got black, we have accelerate yellow, we have carbon flash metallic, which was only offered on the 70th anniversary Z06. Uh, you could not get that color on the C8 Stingray, as well as that uh, white pearl metallic. You couldn't get that as well on the C8 uh, Stingray, only on the Z06 70th anniversary. All right, and then this right here is the Kectic. Looks like it's C A C A C T I. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's a new color. So it looks like we got three new colors is what I'm seeing right now. The Riptide Blue Metallic, the Sea Wolf Gray uh, Tri-Coat, and this one here. Scroll up a little bit. And let's see, it's pictured here in Rapid Blue. And it looks like guys, from everything I've seen, I mean, this is, like I said, this is a leak, leak information right now. This may not be the final result once it uh, actually goes up uh, later on on the uh, official visualizer. Right now, it's saying Corvette E-Ray, which is pretty cool. That's what we were saying it would maybe called, and it looks like they're they may be calling it that. We'll see. Time will tell. All right. So right here, uh, the E-Ray is pictured in uh, rapid blue, and as you can see body color instead of being carbon flash metallic uh like we said here again this is body colored instead of being carbon flash metallic and let's take a look at these interior 
colors. We got jet black, we got jet black with red stitching. We got adrenaline red, we got natural, we got two-tone blue. Uh, we got jet black with yellow stitching. We got sky pool gray, we got adrenaline red dipped. We have uh, natural dip and we have art trimic, art, <laughs> I'm sorry, Artemix. Uh, that's gonna be a Artemis, I'm sorry. I think that uh, Artemis, that Artemia, I don't know what this is guys. But this is a new color. And then we have carbon fiber interior uh, trim package level one. We have the stealth interior trim package. And right here we have the carbon fiber interior trim package level two. Nice, nice. And again, we have the E-Ray right here in rapid blue. And then we have here, it looks like the ZER performance package. And it looks like it's a different type of tire from, it looks like that says Michelin right there on the sidewall but let's go through the different wheels let's see here we got the pearl nickel we got the bright polish we got the carbon fiber wheel painted we got the carbon fiber wheel red stripe we have the carbon flash wheel we have the satin black with blue stripe mm, gonna have a blue stripe wow and we got the carbon fiber wheel visible weave so that's gonna be the visible carbon fiber wheel right there. But man, this right here is different. Looks like this may be the carbon ceramic brakes. I'm not 100%, this, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it may offer that as well as the steel uh, rotors as well. But I'm looking at the diameter of this rotor and I'm just by looking at the diameter, that's pretty big. Usually those um, carbon ceramic uh, rotors are massive. So they may be offering that with the E-Ray. Uh, we will see, we will see, time will tell. And look at that caliber, nice size caliber there as well. All right, let's scroll down. And as you can see, they have the, the Jake wheel cap right there, um, accessory, and they have the uh, carbon uh, flash, cross flag wheel caps there. Scroll up a little bit. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Look at this. I love this carbon fiber and leather steering wheel. I love this carbon fiber and leather steering wheel. Look at this. I think that looks so sweet, bro. So sweet. I wish they would offer this for the, the C8 Stingray as well. I wish they offered a carbon fiber uh, steering wheel. I know you can get it aftermarket, but I'm saying from the factory, it'd be cool if they could offer that as well as an option. We got the, looks like a adrenaline red interior here on the middle console, adrenaline red over here. This is probably a 3LT package. The reason I say that is because right here on the glove box is the red as well. And then right here is a stitching. That's a telltale sign this is a 3LT package. So that's probably what we're looking at in this picture. 3LT uh, package interior. And then right here, look at this on the speaker grill. On the emblem, it says E-Ray. And these look like these are the GT2 seats. Let me scroll back up. Yeah, looks like they're GT2 uh, seats instead of the comp seats. And right here, oh, look at this. Here's another picture of it. And like I said, it looks like it's body colored. All the accents are body colored. Scroll up a little bit. Here, they're giving us a look at the car with the, um, this is the coupe with the roof off. And back here through the glass, you can see the 6.2 liter LT2 engine. Scroll up a little bit. That color though, it's like a greenish matte color. I don't know if that's just an early photo or something like that, or I don't know. If, that looks, that's a weird looking color. I don't know. I don't think that's a color they're gonna offer. I think this is just the leak, leak stuff going on here. Scroll up here and look at that. So right here is the back of the car. What do we notice? That's right, you got it right. Look at that. Look at that exhaust, side exiting exhaust. Yep, they're putting the exhaust outboard for the E-Ray instead of inboard like the Z06. 
and you like I said body color here on the vents body color on the vents but you still got that wide body look no matter what um, it's gonna look nice the wide body look on the Z06 looks fantastic and I'm sure the wide body look on this uh, E-Ray is gonna be fantastic as well. Let's scroll back down a little bit. Let's see, see, right here, this might be that uh, ZER package that they, that they were talking about earlier up there. But you see how you have the big wing, you have the uh, larger front splitter, you have the dive planes, and you got the side skirts as well. They're giving you a stinger on the hood. So this may be part of that ZER package that they were talking about earlier. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna be nice. But look at look at the seats here. Looks like it's a two-tone white seat, white interior. I mean, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is official or how this car may look, you know? They may change some stuff up. But it looks like they may be calling it the E-Ray. So yeah, this is a uh, breaking guy. I just wanted to, I saw this uh, and I just wanted to bring this to you guys as quickly as I could so you guys can have some up-to-date information on what they're talking about when it comes to the E-Ray. With that being said, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to comment. I like reading those comments and also share the video as well. It helps me out a lot. So that's it. That's it guys. That's all for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.